What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to add sound effects to your AMVs without needing any other programs, so you only need After Effects. By the way, if you know someone who has e-raping sound effects, just send them this video and, I don't know, bless them I guess. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright, so I have this old edit here and it's without sound effects, so the first thing you want to do is render your edit in like a low resolution. Because we don't really need to see our edit in high resolution, so we'll just render it in a lower quality. Okay, so we rendered it in low quality and I also added a different song because this one has more like bass in it. And I feel like there's a big problem with beginners that want to use sound effects with songs that are very bassy. Because usually those sound effects will clash a lot with the song, so that's not good. And I'll show you how to fix that in this video. Okay, so now I'll add a sound effect and I'll also leave a pack in the description down below if you want to use my sound effects that I frequently use. Alright, so for this tutorial we'll use this sound effect. It sounds like this. And as you can already hear, there's a lot of bass in it, so if we would just make this louder, like this. And if we now play it with the song, you will hear there will be a lot of distortion. As you can hear, it doesn't sound good at all, so we'll just fix that now. The first thing you want to do is just make it a lower value. So if you experience this distortion, then you first want to check if your volume is not too loud. So we'll set it to 4. Then the next thing is you want to take out the bass of our sound effect. So there's basically a few methods to fix this. I'll just go to the effects and presets. And then here below the audio, you can see all the audio effects. Now in other programs, you will have a lot more customization because they will also have VST plugins, which are basically like plugins for After Effects, but then for sound effects. So we're only limited to these effects, but honestly, it's all you need. So let's just go over the most important ones. So the first thing I want to teach you guys is about the parametric EQ. Uh, if you just drag it onto your sound effect, you can see it's like a graph. And the only thing you need to know about this is that the lower frequency, so the bass and your sound effect, will be more on the left. And then the higher frequencies will be more on the right. So we want to take out some bass, which means that we need to bring this graph down around here. So you have three sections here, and we'll only be using the first one. The second and the third is just to add even more uh, customization. So here you can choose the frequency. As you can see, it's like a wave, and now we're like choosing our frequency. So we want to go to the bass, so let's put it to one. And then the bandwidth is how many frequencies you want to take into that. So if you increase it, you can see our wave will get bigger. We don't want it that extreme, so we'll just lower it a little like this. And then the boost or cut is basically to boost frequency or to cut it. And in this case, you want to cut it because you want less bass in it. And now we'll check it out. All right, and now as you can hear, it's less distorted. Uh, we can even make it louder, like eight. And even with that loudness, it still doesn't distort. So this is usually what's wrong with your sound effects if they distort. So make sure to fix it. And then if you think this is too hard, I also have another effect that does this. And it's the bass and treble effect. So if you put this on here, it's only two parameters. So the only thing you need to do is basically just lower down the bass. And as you can hear, it does the exact same thing. So this just has more control. Uh, but if you want it to be more easy, you can use this effect. All right, now there's a few other effects like delay. So this is an effect that basically makes your sound effect repeat. The first thing is the delay time. It's basically how fast it repeats after each other. So as you can hear, I'll just disable the music for this. As you can hear, it repeats very fast after each other. So we'll just increase it a little. And now as you can see, it's slower. So that's what this effect does. And then the one below it, the delay amount, it's basically just how much delay you want. So if it puts to 100 or even higher, all right, 400. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can make it very loud. So don't go too extreme in these values. All right, then feedback. Your sound effect basically gets quieter each time it repeats. So if you set feedback to 100, it will basically not get quieter and just repeat forever. As you can hear, it will go on forever. By the way, it will only go on forever until your clip stops. So that's about here. And if you want to prevent it from doing that, you can just right click and then time and then freeze on last frame. And then here you can choose the length you want. So for example here, and now you can basically extend your sound effect as much as you like. So it just keeps going now. All right, usually we want the feedback to be around 50 uh, so it gets quieter. Then the dry out and the wet, uh, it's very easy to explain actually. The dry out is just basically your original sound effect and then the wet out is your sound effect completely delayed. So if we set our dry out to 100, our original sound effect will basically be at a volume of 100%. 
and then the wet out if you set it to 10 for example. Now we'll hear the delayed sound effect way less. As you can see it's very quiet now. So you can play around with this if you set it to 100. It will also get even louder so you need to watch out for this. So as you can hear like this our dry out is very low now and our wet out is higher. So that means that the first sound effect is going to be a low volume and then after that it's going to be louder. As you can hear, first one was very silent and then the next ones were louder again. So that's delay. And then the last effect is called reverb. All right, so you probably already know what this effect does, but for the ones who don't, it's basically like when you're in a big hall and then the sounds within that room bounce off the walls. And if you have a high reverb, it means that they bounce a lot. So I'll just demonstrate it. We'll just increase the time and then you should already be able to hear it. As you can hear, it sounds like we're in a, a big hall or something. So then next is the diffusion. And this one is basically, again, the amount of your reverb. So we'll just set it to 100. Then the decay is how much it bounces off these walls. So if you set it to a higher value, the sound effect will sound like it's in a way bigger room. As you can see, if you make it too high, it can sound bad. So again, don't go too extreme in these values. So we'll just set it to 50. All right, and then the brightness. It basically um, boosts these frequencies here on the higher parts. So it's more clear to hear. So when your reverb is kind of subtle and you want it to stick out more, you can uh, put this value to something higher and it will be way more clear. All right, and then the dry out and wet out, it's basically the same thing again. Dry out is your original sound effect and then the wet out is your actual reverb effect. All right, so that's all you need to know about sound effects for now. If you want me to make a video on these other effects, then make sure to comment it down below. And also make sure to check out the SFX pack in the description because it's free and I'm sure you'll like it. So yeah, hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and make sure to click on the first link in the description down below. So you can join a group of editors that are just like you and who just want to learn AMV editing on After Effects as fast as possible. All right, bye-bye.